All right, folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, we are back. Play Criminal Case on Facebook. This is Mysteries of the Past, case number three in the line of fire. We now, yep, we had a fire, and the police commissioner is going, wants to hunt everyone down. Well, I cannot be certain, but you better tread carefully, Ace. Commissioner Baldwin's the head of the police and a very influential man. Thanks to his patronage, the Flying Squad was established. With yours truly at the helm, you must be on your best behavior. Your career may depend on it. Understood, sir. Ace, let's see what the Commissioner's speech is all about. Wow, who does he look like? I don't even know. The good citizens of Concordia, I hereby swear to stamp out the plague that is crime in our fine city, and I won't let this latest murder go unpunished. Mr. Kidd was a man of honor and valor, who did not deserve to meet his end in such a cowardly fashion. No stone will be left unturned as I tirelessly hunt for the criminal who committed this heinous act and bring them to justice, alive or dead. Well, that was a passionate speech, Ace, and now that Commissioner Baldwin is finished, we can have a word with him. A new suspect. Interesting. Uh, so we are looking at let's see suspects cocaine and then the killer plays dice Commissioner Baldwin may we have a moment absolutely but before we start let me take one of these drops grandstanding does cause the jaw to throb so senior trooper ace detective O'Malley to what do I owe the pleasure well, we just heard your speech and we're curious as to why such acrimony over this particular crime. Well, Mr. Kidd was a hero. He fought bravely to keep the city safe from the fire. More importantly, Mr. Kidd was engaged to my daughter. Oh, we weren't aware of this news. Perhaps we could have a word with your daughter. Absolutely not. Adelia is devastated and will not be disturbed at this time. Let her be. And now I must go. The police photographer has arrived, and we are to begin our search. Good day. Ace, Commissioner Baldwin was adamant about not disturbing his daughter, but she is a potential suspect. We must have the opportunity to interview her. I agree. We must go to the commissioner's home. Perhaps his daughter will be there. And at the very least, we can have a look-see. Nice. Commissioner's home. Looks like a nice place. Okay, that's gotta be something in the bottom. Yep. Coat. See the dog, the bird cage, and the cup. It's on the cup? Oh, you're looking for a teacup. Okay. Huh. Nobody answered the door, so the garden is a good place as any to start. Unless you found a clue, Ace. That ornate diary looks to be Adelia's. We shall unlock it and see. Well, this is a fireman's coat. And knowing that Mr. Keaton was Baldwin's fiance, this coat must be his. A thorough search of the pockets is in order. I wonder if her diary, if she was in, in cahoots with the uh, other fireman. I could see a love triangle there. Interesting. Ace, that paper you found in your victim's coat pocket has a message on it. Otis, I'm ready to play. Fortunately, no one signed it. What is lacking in signature is made up for, the, for by the cipher on this. We must decipher that code. For sure. Nope. It's gotta be that one. 
Hey, so those tickets for a transatlantic voyage to Paris on the gigantic in Adelaide, Adelia's diary? Hey, you're right, those tickets were purchased by our victim. And they were first class tickets. How could a fireman afford first class? As they were inside Miss Baldwin's diary, we can assume this voyage was for her and Mr. Kidd. But that's it. There's no way we're not going to talk to Miss Baldwin, no matter what the commissioner says. Nice. Ooh, are we going to have enough stars? I hope so. Okay, so we need two, two, six, five, six, five. So five, eight, six, two, five, nine, eight, five, two, six. Nice. Fine work, Ace. You revealed a set of numbers from that cipher addressed to our victim. And as a resident expert, numbers expert is Evie. We should get these numbers to her at once. Yeah, I always knew the killer was Justin Bieber. I always knew it. 12 hours, nice. We are very sorry for your loss, Miss Baldwin. It must be tragic to hear of your fiance's sudden passing. Well, I do have a bit of the morbs. I was expecting more tears, but good on you for being strong. In order for us to catch this killer, we need to know more about Otis. Can you tell us about the two first class tickets for the gigantic that he purchased? Oh, he just surprised me with those. We've been planning on eloping and then moving to Paris to start a new life together. I just love Paris. But how could Otis afford such a lavish expense on a fireman's salary? Well, Otis didn't come from wealth, but he was working his way up the ranks. Whatever he could do to make more money for our future together. But now he's gone, Saint Trooper Ace. My future in Paris is ruined. We dare say, Miss Baldwin, that's not the worst problem right now. Ace, after what her father told us, I expected Adelia to be more shaken by her fiancé's death. Well, we'll need to keep an eye on her, but being the Commissioner's daughter does not exclude her from our list of suspects. It's true. Alrighty guys, so I will see you guys in 12 hours. I'm gonna grab a bunch of stars. Some Pitching Ace 88. Or what? Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. So hashtag I was there. So uh that was created for the people that joined the live stream. So thank you guys all for uh doing that. That was pretty darn awesome. And uh baby ace hit all the spoilers, so it was perfect. What's up, Evie? Oh, hello, Ace. I didn't see you come in. I apologize for the clutter. That's all right, Evie. I think Ace will become acquainted with your methods soon enough. All right, then. About the numbers you found on that note to your victim. They are coordinates. Coordinates? Is in points on a map? Yes. Understand cartography. One can ascertain one's precise look position in a map to find their latitude and longitudinal locations. When reading a lo location given in such format, the first set of numbers is the latitude, and the second is the longitude. I'm familiar with maps, so I took the initiative to look up the so-called address, and these coordinates lead directly to the New Haven Police Precinct. So someone at the precinct must have known our victim well. Ace, we must go there at once. Whoa. 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 So we got a revolver. Nice, there's the revolver. Photo. Candle. Horse. It's gotta be like a picture or something, right? Nope. Clock glasses. Clock. Nice. And then where are our glasses? Hey, 
Nice, this revolver's an Ivory Johnson. It's exactly the weapon Dick said we should be looking for. Considering the fact that this gun is on a crime scene, I'd say you've just found our murder weapon, Ace. Let's get a sample of the strange stain on the handle. And as for this clock, you think it's of interest to our investigation, we better fix it up. And what about that photo of men playing dice? My word, that man there is our victim. Indeed, Ace, we know our killer plays dice, so we must find out who's the other man in this photo. Perhaps the ring he's wearing could help. Looks unique, and jewelers keep records of such things. Nice, even back in the olden days, they kept records. Makes sense, you gotta be able to uh, take control of all of your assets. Madame Chalm. Ace, what would Madame Zhang's clock be doing at the police station? I'd say it's about time we had another conversation with Madame Zhang. About time, but don't. Alright, what do we got here? That looks about right. Hmm. My word, Ace. The Jewish database revealed that the ring on our mysterious man in the photo belongs to Officer Wimple. He told us he barely knew Mr. Kid, and here he's shooting dice with the man. Officer Wimple lied to us. Ace, we have no choice but to go interrogate Officer Wimple once more. I agree. Ace, now that we have a sample of that white substance from the murder weapon, we can get it to Viola for further analysis. Sounds like a plan. Ooh, only six hours. Sweet. Officer Wimple, we found a photo of you and the victim playing craps. Why did you lie about your relationship with him? Heavens, I was hoping that that wouldn't get out. It's all rather embarrassing. Mr. Kid held craps games on his time off. He asked me to play once, and I made a good amount of money. More than I make here, if I may say. So I kept playing. Well, it's perfectly normal to have hobbies, Officer Wimple. Why cover it up? A man like myself should not have been cavorting with the likes of a person like Mr. Kid. He was crooked, that one. Because of him, the higher ups have me on their watch. I should never have gotten involved with him. Madame Zhang, we found your clock in the police station. Care to tell us why it was there? Well, if you must know, I gave that clock to Mr. Kidd. It was a curse meant to say his days were counted. Mr. Kidd was a regular customer at my brothel. He would drink, play craps, and be wild with my girls all night long. I lost a lot of money during those crap games. I thought Mr. Kidd was happily engaged, not the sort to be gallivanting about at this type of establishment. Ah. Mr. Kid was no gentleman. He would get very drunk and rowdy. Once, he even knocked me in the mouth. Now I must take these drops to calm the pain. Oh, is that why we found your clock on the crime scene then? You wanted to make sure your curse would be effective as soon as possible. Why well, didn't kill him? But I'm pleased my curse worked. Chipped tooth, that could be one. But we got six hours, I'm gonna grab some stars. I'll be right back. This is Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Let's finish this off. Ace, hey, isn't it fascinating to live in such a time of industrial advancements? Between Charlie's inventions and the motorized carriage, it's only time before we send someone to the moon. Violet, I do appreciate your imagination. Why the sudden zeal for progress? Well, the sample Ace took from the murder weapon inspired me. You see, the sample is that of a combination. Carnauba wax, beeswax, and linseed oil, all of which make up the compound for automobile wax. 
Automobile wax, you say? Why do you love to polish my Madmobile? Well, so does the killer. They must have first polished their car and then transferred some of the wax onto the murder weapon. Means a killer drives an automobile, and that should limit our search substantially. Not many people have automobiles around here. Ace, I cannot believe someone started this fire on purpose. Unfortunately, we won't be able to investigate the arsonist until we put Otis killers behind bars. We've discovered that our victim was not the hero most would have us believe. I'm not surprised to find out that he had quite a few enemies. Both Madame Jean and Officer Wimple have painted a picture of a man who cheats, gambles, and drinks. Mr. Kidd did not seem to be fit for the fiancé of a police commissioner's daughter. However, she didn't seem to be aware of Mr. Kidd's rather dubious hobbies. Ace, I'm realizing that where there's smoke, there's fire, and we'll find much more of the flames that fan Mr. Kidd's death. Ace, we have a situation. What is it, Evie? Someone has broken into the commissioner's home, and I think it's one of your suspects. Alright, well, we'll figure that out in chapter 3. So, Pitching Ace 88, over and out.